Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Four. We are learning Unit One. Its title is Tolerance. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. So, my dear students, today we will continue reading and understanding the text. And uh, before this, in English for grade three, I have taught you arrange the words in alphabetical order. I hope you remember. If not, you can watch this video lecture again. And we are going to extend the practice. We'll scan a simple text for specific information and use alphabetical order to locate words in a dictionary for increase in vocabulary and aid in comprehension of text. This is, these two are our today's SLOs. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Ahzab verse 70, O you who have believed, fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. Yes, my dear children, this beautiful verse is teaching us a rule of speaking. And what is that? Use appropriate words. Okay. And one thing more which we learn from Sunnah, if we don't have appropriate words now, then we should stay quiet. Right. So this rule, better we have whatever we learn, we should bring it in our practice. So always speak nicely, speak good words. And if there is a situation where you don't have good words, stay quiet. Okay. So now you tell me what kind of religion is Islam? Yesterday we learned a few things. Do you remember? So pause the video, answer this question to your teacher. Yes, my dear children, I hope you remember that we learned the religion Islam brought by the Holy Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Khatimun Nabin Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam is a religion of forgiveness, love and tolerance. Right? So these are the teachings of our religion Islam. So let's start reading this is these two paragraphs we have read yesterday so from this very third paragraph very first line i'm going to read listen carefully there are a few questions while reading i'll keep asking and when i stop reading it's your turn to read so listen carefully here we go from those beatings which beatings we are talking about where we stopped our beloved prophet Hazrat muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam along with his slave Hazrat. Zaid bin Harissa went to a Taif and they started throwing stone on him. So what happened from those beatings, the shoes of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Khatimul Nabin Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam were filled with blood. So he was so badly injured that his shoes were filled with blood. At that moment, the angel Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam appeared with the angel of the mountain next to the holy prophet Muhammad Khatimul Nabin Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So before going further, you tell me what did the people of Saif throw at holy prophet Rasulullah Khatimul Nabin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and why? So pause the video and answer this question to your teacher. Yes, my dear children, I hope you have answered correctly. So what happened next? Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam conveyed the message of Allah that if he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted the insulters of Taif could be crushed between the mountains. You see? And what does crush mean? Squeeze forcefully so as to break. Like what is the situation? They have insulted our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam. Hazrat Jibreel along with the angel of mountains came there and they conveyed the message of Allah. If we want, we can crush them in between mountains. Now just imagine what would have done if, if something wrong with, ha, will have happened with us. 
will say, do this them, they, how dare they, why they were. But what is the sunnah? What our beloved Prophet did? However, the Prophet Muhammad Khatimul Nabeen Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam displayed at most mercy and forgiveness. He said, no, don't do this to them. And this was not the end. Better further what he did, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told Hazrat Jibreel Alayhi Wasallam not to punish the people of Thaif. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam refused to curse them but prayed for them, for their guidance, Allahu Akbar. You see, this is the beautiful sunnah. When someone does something bad with you, instead of reacting, make dua, Ya Allah, make the things easy. There is something wrong with this person. This is the beautiful sunnah, beta, and this is not easy. We need to work very hard on ourselves. Prophet Muhammad Khatimul Nabi and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Tolerance is a remarkable example for all of us to follow. What does remarkable mean? Worthy of being or likely to be noticed. We should notice it. It's not an easy thing, but it's a remarkable thing. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was merciful even to his sallallahu alaihi wasallam's enemies and what does merciful mean showing or exercising mercy so to forgive enemy and to have soft corner for them in your heart this is the beautiful sunnah which we are learning from here so inshallah we'll try to practice it as well all right so here you tell me why did Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah Khatimul Nabi sallallahu alaihi wa sallam invite the leaders of Taif why did he invite them so pause the video answer this question to your teacher yes my dear children I hope you have answered correctly because he wanted them to become Muslims we should face every situation with patience and tolerance. Okay, my dear children, here, when a word appears in your text, which uh, you want to find out more about the word, like you want to find its meaning from dictionary, how do you do that? You'll take a dictionary. Okay, I'm going to take it for you. And in dictionaries, the words are arranged in alphabetical order. So the first words are with a then b c so i want to find out the meaning of this word that is tolerance how will i reach to this word first of all i'll go to first letter alphabetical word. so first letter is t i'll go to section t keep finding the words are written letters are written here so i'm going to letter t this is how we reach to the words okay letter t is here now T and the second letter is O. So here in dictionary, there will be T, A, T, B, like it will keep on going on. So I'll go to T, O, okay. And then I'll go for third letter L and E. So I'll keep on reaching to the specific word in alphabetical order, T, O, L. And when I reach to E, most likely for fourth letter, I will reach to the word and that's here in our dictionary, tolerance. Okay, so whenever you find a word which you want to know more, you will find it in alphabetical order and you will reach to the word and you will find the meaning of that word so that you can comprehend and connect with the word. So tolerance means to bear something or someone which you find unpleasant, right? Are you, are you done with it? So teachers kindly make students to practice using dictionary and uh, I have taught you how to reach to the specific word, right? So after getting the meaning of tolerance, we'll resume our reading from the same point. We should face every situation with patience and tolerance. As a Muslim, we should have faith in Allah. Allah will help us in every difficult situation and reward us for this. This is important. But if we have a firm belief that whatever we are doing, Allah is watching. Allah knows how we are struggling hard. So Allah will reward us, inshallah.
So that's it about this lesson. Now you will uh, read the text and pause the video, read the text and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it's time to find the answers of these questions. And yesterday I taught you scanning technique, remember? So you will read the question, you will go to the text quickly, keep, uh, re, uh, like you will not read, you'll keep finding and will reach to the specific text to find the answers of these questions. So pause the video and scan the answers of this question from the text. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So here is time for activity. Are you ready for that? Okay. So arrange these words in alphabetical order. I just taught you what alphabetical order means. The letters as they appear in alphabets in English, A, B, C, in the same order, you have to arrange it. You will look at the first letter and the first letter which comes first in A, B, C will come first. Understand? So here it's T, no, I, uh, so what is the first? A. A is first letter, so it will come first. Likewise, you will keep finding and make the arrangement and then write these words again in alphabetical arrangement. Pause the video, complete this exercise. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it is time for your homework. Write the meanings of these words from dictionary and make meaningful sentences of these words. These are the words. First, you will find their meanings from dictionary and then use these words in your sentences. I'm giving you a worksheet. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide printed worksheets to students for practice. And my dear children, what we are going to do, here is a group of words. You have to arrange these words in alphabetical order. And uh, in this way, what we have learned today, we learned to arrange words in alphabetical order and we learned to locate a word in a dictionary. We also learned to comprehend text by searching meaning of difficult words in dictionary. So in this way, we achieved our SLOs to scan a simple text for specific information and use alphabetical order to locate words in a dictionary for increase in vocabulary and eight. So in this way, we have achieved our today's SLOs. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself and all the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.